Shaman versus Shaman. Yeah, so it's aggro shaman versus aggro shaman, so. Yeah, just getting this. So many choices. Yeah, just. Oh. I mean, you did have the option to go double one drop right and then go into totem, but the totem golem is just so strong. Like, it's hard to fight it. Like, it is the best one drop in the game, yeah. right? Oh man. Oh man. We also see PNC having the golden card back, too. I'm quite jelly, you know? So jelly? so jelly? Yeah, he uh, did get. Was it the top four in the prelims? I, I know he was top eight in the pre. Uh, was it spring prelims? Oh man. So uh, another totem golem to follow yeah, up there. Well, it could just be the game client bugging. Sure, sure. But no, it, it looks like they're still yeah, playing. Yeah. An abusive route. I guess there's a, a third option of just going face for five. Uh, this this is not bad either because he is overloaded by one. If he's overloaded by one, you can follow up with Pharaoh Spirit the next turn, which still doesn't feel that mm -hmm. bad. And you're still establishing a pretty good board too. Two at the moment. Don't worry, loves. The here. Yeah, so just going with Argent Horse Rider, doing some trades, getting some value. Yeah, that instant divine heal, two for one. And now Gaiden's actually looking pretty strong. He's gonna be able to follow it up with uh, Totem into thing from, thing from Below. Or do you play Tunnel Truck? Hear Power first. You hear Power as you see if it's, yeah, if it's Spell Totem. It is Spell Totem. Ooh. But yeah, Thing From Below is way, really good way better. Well, it's so hard for the, the two Feral Spirits to actually... Because this Spell Totem mm -hmm. just entirely wipes it out, so yeah, d definitely playing the Dargent Squad is a little bit better. So even if it Lightning Storms, at least something survives, right? Because he's not going to trade it in right now yeah. just because it feels bad, and you're not going to Lightning Storm just because you're getting... I feel like you need a Lightning Storm here. It feels a little better. It should... Yeah, he's, yeah, he's going to do the Tunnel Troc, do the Lightning Storm. It's a little bit a little bit too good, because you want a total floor clear. Most of the time. Yeah, you still you get a 3-3 out of the deal too, so it's not bad at all. And now PNC has Ooh. to risk... The lightning storm. Like, okay, so he probably will be playing the lightning storm with the Pharaoh Spirit. Because he didn't decide to totem and see if there's a spell totem, but I'd, like, I guess, like, he has to. It's okay, board. it's gonna roll threes all oh, across he the did board. Roll three. Well, that's still pretty good. I mean, Finley could wreck things just by it being, uh, heal, like, get priest heal instead and be able to trade into a Pharaoh Spirit and, you know, get that endless value that they're both looking for at this point. Ooh, Doomhammer. Yeah, that changes things. That guarantees take care of one, and then you can just trade the other. Would have been the same deal if you got Priest Heal. Except you actually get to develop the uh, Doomhammer in the process. Yeah. But this... This is a pretty weak turn. But let's see if it Tonto. Tonto's one is... Faceless? The Flame Reef Faceless? How, how no, 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 no. Oh, you yeah, you're play. right. He only has yeah, three mana! Loaded. Oh yeah, the Feral Spirit's in! <laughs> Holy crap. I keep forgetting how terrible Shaman is with Overload. Mm -hmm. Always feels bad. Always feels you mean bad. I can't play my four mana seven seven on turn seven? What? Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Ooh, life tap. What you, what's your? You, yeah, that seems awesome. You also already have rock biter. I mean, I guess you could have actually chosen um, hunter hero power as well, because you know you could actually just rush down with that amount of damage. But he's still going with the uh, clear board. Play. Yeah, because his opponent. Is at like 29 health. Oh, Maelstrom oh, there portal. We go. Sorry. New card. Uh, portal, 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 portal. Gotta remember it's portal. Yeah. Different game. Also, completely different effects. Uh, there's a, a card in Magic that's Maelstrom Pulse. It's single target, but kills all copies of the same name. Oh, that's pretty sweet. It's also sorcery speed. So slow. But yeah, pretty sweet card. It's actually insane. Yeah. Well, just yeah, pretty good. good. Alright. Pretty all right, good. Tap for the. Okay, so you could actually Rockbiter, kill the Tunnel Trog, hit face for five, Feral Spirits, and Flame Tongue. Mm -hmm. So the, it does four damage to the. Ouch. Ouch. Man, that hurts. Ooh, he's going for the full clear. I guess. I guess this is pretty good, because if he wants to face, play with Faceless, you actually trade it in. Or you mm -hmm. can just abuse it. Yeah. Right Makes it impossible to be killed by. Uh, Charge minions, but still, it's gonna hurt. It's like you're at ten. Like how many spells do shamans play? They actually just go face, right? I mean, there's two. 
Lava Burst. We're still not even completely sure what build PNC is playing. Besides, you know, maybe it's yeah, it's pretty much aggro. But like, uh, how many lightning bolts is he playing? Is it just the one copy, or are they still like possibly playing two? Yeah, possibly playing two. Uh, ancestral knowledge is also one of those cards that you wonder if he's playing. But it looks like he might possibly be able to clear the board in the next two turns. Anyway. Oh, never mind. Second Feral Spirit picked up. <laughs> That's, uh... Unless he gets a Lightning Storm, it's going to be pretty dream crashing. But that uh, Melstorm Portal usually takes the place of one, right? Or have they been taking out um, Flame Juggler for the portal? Oh, uh, it's probably the Flame Juggler. Yeah, Flame Juggler, because Flame Juggler, like, sometimes it doesn't hit the minion that you want, but Melstorm guarantees that the guarantees that hit, so I'm pretty sure that it's sort of Flame Juggler. But at least from the list that so, I've seen. But Nell Gaiden looks not like looking so great for in, uh, P and C right now. Nell Gaiden looks like he's in the upper hand right now. All I did was remove two damage, but I guess that's all you can do. Is he dead this turn? I wish you would stop killing me with your flipping of screens. Uh, so that's 6, 11, 14, so he's just short. He could have tapped to see if he got his uh, one copy of Lightning Bolt or another Flame Tongue. Yeah, he could definitely do that. But he is so low, if he taps, then he's dead to um, the opponent's Flame mm -hmm. uh, Lava. First. So many different things that he could just die to. Oh wow, oh. he would have died too. <laughs> Great call. That was it was that close. See, these matches are so swingy. Yeah. yeah. Even with that board, P and C almost came back. Like, yeah, just one top deck. If his opponent just tapped, you know, maybe got greedy looking for uh, lethal that turn. You know. Yeah. Like with war, one misplay, it would have been all over. Uh, <laughs> give me a second. I'll, I'll figure it okay, out. Okay. Okay. Anyway, so we. It was so last. It is the aggro shaman, or probably um, could be Reno. All right. Uh, it's yeah. possible. I mean, Reno's not insanely bad. Like I know, Laughing played it for like a month and a half straight, and everybody tends to go straight for that. Like any build that Laughing is currently playing for Freeze Mage, because nobody else is playing Freeze Mage at the moment. I know Thice tried to play it a little bit, but obviously he didn't do too well in the prelims yeah, with it. I am almost there. I'm almost in the one drops ahead of. Okay, it's Arcane Anomaly. Yeah, Arcane Anomaly. Like that card. Potentially, you know, just stay there forever. Like, like every turn, you're just like, okay, uh, turn one, arcane anomaly, coin, arcane missiles, or arcane blast, something, or play another minion. You know, yeah, those... <laughs> it's just like also you you get a two two for one and follow it up with some other one drop. You just more damage you could potentially do in the That's long run. That's a pretty disgusting combo. All right, so you're the freeze mage master here between the both of us. So how what do you think about this match? Then? Um, I mean, I haven't really been focusing on Freeze Mage so much. Uh, I just know that Shaman has the potential to do an insane amount of bursts if you're not able to slow him down at all. But then again, you could also just completely crush him by, you know, getting a good Doomsayer out. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, like, doing an Ice Lance right here, like, really puts your opponent in a problematic situation. Like, until, until, like, turn five. But that time, you were a lot of I mean, what? PNC what? is thinking about it so hard. What? Yeah, see... I was okay with this situation too, but yeah, like he's gonna be in trouble because, you know, giving the freeze mage the initiative in the later game is just devastating. They just able to fight back. Like, okay, so he's gonna go with uh, Acolyte of Pain. So he's probably gonna coin here and then hero power. He could have the option of just passing and hoping that his opponent uses a, a spell to kill it, because there's not that many three attack haste creatures in. Uh, so yeah, he's actually going with both worlds right here. He's not actually going to hero power it, so it could stay alive to like an Archer Horse Rider. He's just going to play his Novice Engineer. He doesn't need to ping it. He figures he's going to get the draw out of it regardless, because no one's actually running... Um, what is it called? Earthshock. Yeah. 
And he actually gets submit a second minion on the board too, so he could actually start slowly pushing damage too. Like it may not seem like much, but if you're able to start poking your opponent down, you know, it gives you a situation where you could potentially just kill him with reach. Yeah, kill him with reach right. Like he can actually what he doesn't have to, he doesn't I mean like come on, he has what? Twenty four cards left in his deck or something and just to draw them oh, all. Maybe he's yeah. going all in. Probably fears exactly that. Wait, is this enough to pop just block? Pop oh, not yet, not yet. No. Not yet. Next turn, he will be able to pop block. Next turn, which is pretty early too, and especially when you have a chance to actually pop block, you would always do it rather than being scared of um, the freeze mage actually bursting you down. <laughs> oh, the ice bear. That ice bear was a pretty good pickup. It's gonna buy him another turn easy, unless a lava burst comes up. Yeah. Oh baby. Oh, another doom hammer. Second Doom Hammer. I don't know. I, I I think you have to really just ignore the Frost Barrier and just develop shit on the board and start attacking. Sorry, keeping board control. Like you have the second, you have the second Doom Hammer. Like you have endless amount of damage, right? So here's like six damage right here. He only has two extra armor, so he's gonna be at nine. But he could just follow this up with Hero Power Ping on the Acolyte of Pain, trade it into either Tunnel Trog or wait, does he have? Okay, he does have Blizzard, so he could actually. But well, he could also follow it up with the Frostbolt next turn as well. So yeah, it looks like he's gonna go with that line. Oh baby. Yeah, just freeze everything and just try to prevent as much damage as possible. You're setting up for a pretty nice effort here, so... Yeah, I agree with that. Oh, so he is running the double, um... Uh, Acolyte of Pain, which... Would make me think that it's not... Reno. But... I mean, there's just so many different... Like he probably. Oh yeah, that's nine damage. Yeah. Exactly. So he probably wants to put uh, Nell Gaiden into like one health before popping the block. Yeah, this is really troublesome for him. Like, there's just no way. Yeah. Uh, he's like he's not getting additional value out of the Doomsayer. He's, he's not. He can't follow it up with Emperor yeah. next turn. That's why I thought about like just freezing the face. Yeah, freezing yeah. the face yeah. and then just cross Nova so that you can set up for Emperor because uh, you're. You're, you don't have to play block, So yeah, right? giving up that one additional draw, like maybe not thinking the Acolyte was the correct play there? That's what, that's what I thought too. So right now he's really in a tight spot. Because almost anything can pop the block if he plays it right now. He probably needs another Ice Barrier. He's looking for Alex Straza at this point. Yeah, Alex Straza is... Even Frost is not that safe. Like he could just draw another Lava Burst or something. You have to follow yeah, up with Ice Block. Yeah, so his next top deck has to be Alex Straza. <laughs> yep, so he would have had it. Yeah. The Frost Barrier wasn't even a save. Yeah. Now I'm gonna mess with it. I don't want to see Frost Barrier. He also didn't play the Origin Horse Rider plus the Flame. When you're actually setting up for lethal, so that you know your opponent can't kill you while you're gonna kill them, but it ended up costing him the game there, right? Drawing one additional card off the Acolyte of Pain instead of Frost Bolting Face. Pretty crazy. This is the reason why like Freeze Mage is having problems at the moment. Like he's played it so well and just one misstep ends up costing the game. Like he's not even like obviously he's like not even aware that that was even a probability for him to die there or have his ice block pop there. Like he felt that he was already safe. Yeah. So much reach yeah, for the Shaman. Freeze Mage really requires perfection, like perfection play. In order to actually beat most of the matchup, even if the disadvantage matchups. That's why laughing is so good. But he also knows how to tech the deck into um into like countering the meta and stuff like that. So he could go Blizzard into uh Oh, there's an Algae Nova Face, that would have saved him. Yeah, just Blizzard. Just, just hope your opponent play. doesn't have any other direct kind of damage. I mean yeah, two damage is so easy for the shaman, it's not even yeah. funny. Yeah, so it's lethal right here. Easily with the flame tone. Alright. The early game is just drawing. Drawing. And if you're not able to draw the right cards, you just lose. Like, you have to have as many answers as possible. And the correct answers, because, like, there's still... Uh, I, I feel like Yogg decks are probably just going to be still insanely strong. Well, I wouldn't say insanely strong because it's random as hell, but you know, it actually does something. So right maybe this Raven Idol will get a uh, innervate. 
or a wild That's bro. pretty disgusting. But we well, will that's see. what you're yeah, looking but for. We will see. We will see. Not even close. Neither. Not even close. It's gonna get a root. Your roots is still good. Now you can go double yeah. roots on uh, turn two. Yeah, this... So you're not doing nothing. Yeah. Not even sure you want a roots too. Does it, does well, it... I mean, you're not gonna roots his face. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe you will. You know. You never, you never know. Is it? I. I, I don't think you. No. There's no way that you end up saving the teacher. Guess he's gonna try yeah, saving it. Yeah, for he's teacher. saving it for teacher. Yeah, he could put up the pressure of the, like living roots, like double living roots as like four one ones on board. And then follow it up with power yeah. of the wild. But I guess like he's just scared. Like he's just scared of like a doomsayer or something like that. But I don't think. Well, that's yeah, good, that's good for, for you because like yeah. you have so many ways to flood the board. Like I wouldn't be surprised if PNC would just like instantly Google <laughs> the deck and just know what build he's running. Yeah, so let me. I mean, I've done yeah, it. Yeah, so let, let me just Google this oh. real quick. Okay, I know exactly what you're yeah. playing, man. Alright, so... Ooh, <laughs> here's the fireball. Such an easy yeah, fireball. Such an easy Though level. it's not even... Oh, man. You might see a frostbolt. That doesn't seem good at yeah. all. Double roots and power lo is looking pretty strong here. Like, you're... Like... No, no Gaiden will probably just drop the Doomsayer just to counteract this. Like, there's nothing really... Be scared. I guess like, okay, there is something to be scared of. I don't of. think you waste your power of the wilds that, I mean, not your power of the wilds, your dooms here that, like, there's like frost nova. There's, there's uh, plenty of ways to, uh, yeah, freeze yeah. the board. Probably frost nova and dooms there, like, probably that's the kind of the biggest threat to this kind of board. I think, uh, frost bolt ice barrier or frost barrier is probably fine yeah. here. Though he's probably gonna go frost barrier. Oh, loot hoarder. Does that choose, change anything? Frost barrier, loot hoarder to get additional draw. So yeah, it did look like he was gonna go with your play of playing Doomsayer, that... but I think that loot order really changed mm -hmm. things. Especially the ice barrier too, just because you can um, conserve a lot of the Ooh, cards. Turn away pretty. from rag. Ooh. Well, that rag is gonna eat, you know, nine damage. So like, even though rag is gonna be removed from the uh, board next turn, because he'll the uh, the mage will actually have six mana for the frostbolt. Yeah. Uh, oh, I like, like this. this. Putting Very out a uh, aggressive. I like it. I don't think he actually had a trade there. Oh, no, he does, because then he doesn't play around mm -hmm. Blizzard. Now it's a little bit more awkward. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty good play there. Alright, so... Like, talking about turn six, but... <laughs> oh, double Doomsayer. Turns are just... Uh, double Doomsayer, Frostbolt, mm -hmm. yeah. This gives him the most answers, so now we're not going to see... the, uh, Ragnaros this can, can you still clear? Uh... If he can also ditch this board too, and then, but I don't feel like it's. Oh, there's yeah, no way you yeah, give yeah, up there's this. There's no board. way because this, this, this board is yeah, doing worse. His hand is pretty shit, so that's why. Yeah, though Ragnaros is gonna do a lot of work. Yeah, but it does. Though, okay, so Alexstrasza is actually seeming pretty powerful here, mm -hmm. though. Like, the fact that Feral Rage is being used to clear the double Doomsayer combo. Yeah. I mean, it's not being played this turn, mm -hmm. but next turn, it's just, it'd be so gross. Not enough damage, but the Alex Shaza will be able to pick up all the damage that he's going to miss out on. But it's going to be two turns away. Ooh, uh, Norge is well, not bad. There's something to do. It's something to do. Draw three. Oh. Oh. Ra oh. Ra Ra okay, never mind. There's the answer for the Alex mm -hmm. Never. So... Yeah, this is actually starting to look really locked in for PNC. Yeah. Like it's a card advantage, especially when now now Gaiden doesn't really have the burst to actually beat PNC. Maybe the Alex Strauss is the only hope. Like Alex Strauss has PNC's face, and then just hoping you have to burn by turn ten. So uh, when Yogg first came out, our friend Twiz actually threw in Yogg in the Freeze Mage immediately, mm -hmm. and he said it was like pretty amazing, or kill your opponent's board. Of course, sometimes, like, Yogg's just gonna kill you, but, like, at this point, would you even be mad? Like, half the time, Yogg is gonna do exactly what you want it to do. Either draw you a bunch of cards, remove the board, or maybe it might actually commune your hand away. <laughs> true, 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 yeah. And, well, there's pros and cons, but if you have no choice, I'll definitely use it, right? Would you mulch this? It's true, but he also can accelerate Yogg, I guess, but that one mana is not that big of a difference. I feel, I feel like Rag is... Mm. 
Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, 50-50. I like the 50-50. Just make it so, oh, okay, your opponent's like, he's going to either draw two cards or deal eight to face. I, I think I actually wanted eight to face, though. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, like, this Alex Straza is just gross. Like, you have no way to really deal with Alex Straza. He's already used um, one Frostbolt, and so he could actually pick up Thoundless for game. He could up, he could pick up uh, Forgotten Torch for game. Yeah. I mean, all those are possibility. Yeah. Uh, I wonder, is there a way that he could do that with the Loot Hoarder? Just block not being popped gives him so many ways to do this. Like, he's probably just going to go... Um, nah, that doesn't do anything. Uh, he's probably going to just go with Emperor uh, Looter Pink Face. Yeah. Just to make it so that you draw additional cards, makes all the mana less, or makes all the cards in hand cost less. Uh, actually, no, never mind. He's just not going to pink face. He's just going to first probably yeah, play novice. novice. See, see what, what he does. Yeah, see what you get. Is Thanos still lethal with the novice? Yeah, uh, two, on board? three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh. Yeah, I think it. it yeah, is I think exact. I like this yeah. more than pink for. And he did draw the Forgotten Torch. It's not lethal this turn. But he could play the Forgotten Torch now and the Loot Hoarder. Like or is it better to actually ping face? You know, it might be better to ping face. Ping face? Yeah, ping face is better, yep. yeah. Because the armor negates that. Well, oh, yeah, because he would have been at 14. Yeah. Is there a way to steal the ice block? Uh, choosing not to just use Hero Powder clear. Not Oh, interesting. So he decides well, to block. That means he's dead. No, no, he's got innervate out into Yogg. But you can also, you can also, oh, okay, yeah, you can also Yogg. So wait, so do you think that was a misplay then? Maybe, maybe, maybe. He should have just hero power. Yeah. yeah. I think he should have just hero power innervated then Yogg. That would have yeah, been the that better play. Been better play. I, I, w I would have liked to see what um, Yogg would have gotten you. Because now if, if we see Flare, that's yeah, gonna be like be so lol. Corruption, Blade Fury, Embrace. Oh, he can actually do himself now. He should now just rag on the board. Uh, okay, he gets a bunch of 1-1s. One -one, so that's okay. Uh, actually, sure. You can have a protected rag. Uh, a bigger rag? Yeah, yeah. Divine Favor. Divine right. Favor, draw one card. He needs, he needs some healing. That's good. He needs some healing. That's why. Oh, Astro Communion. Oh, oh, no more hand. <laughs> no more hand. GG. Okay, now he's going to deal... Zero damage to rag, that's good, that's good. Mirror Ooh, entity. This is bad if you can see where it comes up. Those are not really. And wait, 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 wait. That's a uh, mirror entity, right? Oh, I thought it was ice block. It yeah, was ice block. Entity, that so this so is good. Holy crap. So that would have actually, ice block would have been another way yeah, to win. I for an eye would have tied mm -hmm. the game if he drew it. Uh... Actually, no, I for I would have won the game. <laughs> yeah, oh, wow. I for I would have won the game. Uh... Is there any other. Uh, I guess uh, Dart could have been an option yeah. as well. Dart Trap. If uh, he doesn't play the Loot Hoarder, actually he wouldn't have even had enough mana to play the Loot Hoarder. So like Dart Trap would have tied the yeah. game. Wow. What a series. What a series. Such a tight, close game. Pretty tough not yeah, to. Pretty. Frost Nova Doomsayer right off the bat. I like that. Ice Berry, maybe you keep it. I, I don't really like keeping it. Uh, you you know what you're playing against. Uh, Frostbear is really bad in yeah. this matchup. Like even against um, double uh, roots, you know, in the early game, like we could have possibly saw at the start of NPC's game. Um, yeah, Doomsayer is sweet. Frost Nova. I mean, when you have Doomsayer, it's kind of hard not to say yeah. Uh, Frostbolt is probably okay, but I think you might want to actually throw it back for draw or something, yeah. which he went ahead and did. Um, Thanos, yeah, it looks like a draw. It, it's not going to be played as an actual, like, deal additional damage, is it? No, I think uh, now that you actually have Emperor, you might play it for draw, so you can just start filtering through your deck a lot mm -hmm. sooner. Oh, because you actually, like, do you see? Thanos is pretty strong, like, being able to do a bunch of damage. Like, when? How often do I DC? You DC, like, the other night. It's not me, it's you, man. No, um,. Oh, no, 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 I was, I was just saying, he I could like have uh, innovated the uh, Vandro, but he chose the Panther instead. So he's going to go with Thalnos, which means he's probably going to lead with the uh, Hero Power next turn, which might be a weaker play. I, I think he might have been better off just coining um, Forgotten mm -hmm. Torch this turn. Oh, we're going to see the Wrath for one of just for a cycle, and it's also removes a minion too, so... 
So if he's saving his coin, it's likely that he just wants to go Emperor on the, a board, but it's never going to be uh, an empty board at this point. He would have to actually go with uh, Doomsayer Nova, so saving the coin at this point like doesn't do much, so I don't know. Alright. It'll be interesting to see how this turns yeah. out. Vandra looks pretty sweet here. I like that. It forces your opponent to actually remove it. If it doesn't, then you're gonna snowball. Because uh, next turn he can uh, get out a 10 10 more. I don't think yeah. you do that. Yeah, I don't think you do that either. Like, what are you gonna do with your initiative? Like, literally yeah. nothing. <laughs> like, you're gonna yeah. forgotten torch your opponent's face and then play yeah, the novice? Ice Lens is like, uh, another form of burst, too. But yeah, I don't I don't believe of using Frost Nova, but Ice Lens is a, bit, a lot better. No, I, I think uh, the way that it changed, it, it like, Ice Lens is more of a tool. Mm -hmm. Like, I think it's probably more likely that um, cards like, uh, what was it called? The mage card that I actually had high hopes for, the two mana destroy target frozen creature. Oh, uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's like Flame Waker, right? Shatter, Shatter. Oh, Shatter. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, Shatter. Yeah, look, I had high hopes for that card. Like, I think it like it might almost be time for that card to actually start seeing play. thing with it at the moment is, is Control decks are really weak right now. Yeah, that, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, since Control yeah, decks are so Well, weak. I wouldn't say that they're insanely weak. I actually feel like they might be more powerful than they used to be. It's more of the situation of Control decks are too slow at the moment that you just can't deal anything about. So... So PNC actually forgot and torched the uh, Violet Teacher, so this shows his first a setup for Blizzard, so this should be a pretty good sell. But he pri he's prioritizing the Violet Teacher over the Vandro, which I'm not 100% sure if that's correct or not, because Vandro does have the potential to snowball. Like, we're gonna see a 10 10. Armor gain from his hero power. Huh. I'm thinking about the Druid's yeah. turn. PNC. Still yeah. even I was also just gonna say PNC might not use Emperor just because. There's a lack of burning spells in his hand, so if Emperor does die in the turn that's played, he's getting little value out of it. Tough turn. Very tough turn. I, I feel like Ice Block might be pretty weak here, yeah. Just getting into the teacher. Probably, like, even Mirror Images is an option, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. I don't know. It, it's not that scary. It's either you're dead to a 5-5, five five or... I mean, so many options, so many things, yeah, so to, many do. things to do. But well, the thing that PNC actually has to do is just freeze the board, because he can't take that 10 to the base. Mm -hmm. Yeah, th this buys yeah. him the additional turn. So yeah, it looks like he's going to go with that route of turn 8 Emperor Boy Nova. I need to get out of my opponent's future turns and stick to the turns that are being played now. Yeah. Uh, so Druid, yeah, he's just probably going to either charge Teacher Drake. Charge, he seems. Probably charge. I mean, yeah, yeah. Who, who doesn't like a 2-6 yeah. charge minion? Oh, wait, no, it's a 4-6 anyways. Ooh. Oh, yeah, 2-6, yeah. 4-6, yeah. That was close. Very close, not even close. Not even close. close enough. Ooh. So, yeah, Emperor Coin. Ooh. Wait, no, no. And he does have the Ice Blocks for the following he turn. Does, he does. No, if he uses Alex here, uh, does he, 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 dies. Yeah, does he, he dies. He doesn't. Have, no, yeah, no. I wasn't thinking he was going to Alex here. I oh. think he was going to go with the the turn that I said, you know, two turns ago or a turn yeah. ago. Um, it's just uh, Alex Straza opens up a world of possibilities. Like you're gonna be able to play Alex Straza and Ice Block in the same turn, and it's very likely that you're not even gonna get popped in those same turns. Um, I still think I would have liked to see uh, Mirror Images last turn. It would have been eaten up to possibly the Wrath plus the uh, Jewel Claw, but I, I felt like it might have actually made your, you know, your Emperor just more reliable. Because now we're about to see the Emperor get one shot by a Wrath that draws a card. This is the dirtiest looking Wrath I've ever seen in my life. Probably is. Me too. Me too. Let me just uh, kill your opponent's creature with, with a two mana spell that draws me a card. Kill your Emperor. Oh, another Ancient uh, Award. Ancient that War. looks pretty good. Uh yeah, it's 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 a ten ten. It's it's like I'm looking at the volcano he's uh, lumber. He's also highlighting the um, dragon's egg too. Maybe he just wants to play it on curve. And just in case the board is clear Ooh. or something like that, then he can actually have a two one on board. But the power level of H of four is too big. Interesting that he didn't like the uh, with the whispers of the old god. They just pumped his board and made a bunch of additional oh, creatures. Flame strike. That's, that's good. good. Acolyte of Pain, Ping, Block, Looter, whatever the hell that uh, two drop four three make your opponent make it so he can't hero power or, or make it cost seven. 
So he's choosing to actually use his mirror images here. Does this prevent the block from being popped? No, he did no, with the swipe because he drew the Thalnos. Now just swipe to the face. Now he can not, like pop block. Yeah, like there was too many ways for the the block to be possibly popped. Pop there. I, I was trying to look for the most ways that he could draw a card, so they start looking for lethal. Like if he picked up the second block plus some burn spells, all of a sudden Alex draws is playable. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's just not happening here. Oh man, choosing the good seed. He still had the second block in his deck, right? Yeah, he does. Do you think he cut his block? Yeah, he does. The second block. 